Okay. I'm, all right. So how did you find Find Food Freedom and what you made you say, I want to reach out and learn more? Um, I had some experience uh, or some exposure through a therapist okay. uh, in regards to intuitive eating and read the book probably a year previous to finding out about Find Food Freedom. Okay. And I believe I found, found Find Food Freedom on Instagram. I think Sammy on Instagram is where I found it. Okay. Great. And started following her. Okay. How has your relationship with food changed throughout the process? Um, it's not the enemy anymore. And I think that's the big thing. Yeah. Because although it was, you know, my closest friend, it was also my biggest enemy. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So that, that's changed a lot. And um, I, I don't have the headspace that's taken up by diet culture there anymore, which basically is a very freeing feeling. Yeah. I remember when we talked about that, when you said, I'm, I'm not thinking about this all the time anymore. And I'm amazed at how many other things I can do with my life. <laughs> right? Right, exactly. What was your biggest takeaway or aha moment from our time together? God, there were a number of them. Yeah. I don't know if I can think of something like real specifically, but I think um, for me, um, touching on some of the, the body issues, mm -hmm. the negative um, body attitude that I have um, was extremely helpful for me. Okay, great. And would you recommend Find Food Freedom to a friend and why? Um, yes, absolutely. And why? Because it, again, it's, it's, um, it's the way we're supposed to be eating. And now being in this kind of mindset for a while, I find it really uh, hard and sometimes very depressing when I hear close friends and that constant talk about diet. Yeah. It's almost hard to be around. And yet at the same time, I want to, you know, and I have passed on some information, but boy, diet culture has got its claws dunk, uh, sunk in deep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for sharing.